Hello students. Till now, you have seen on biology. So now we'll see some concepts in physics. So the first is let's discuss about motion. So what do you mean by motion? In a simple term, if you want to describe, motion is something where an object is moving. It, you mean to say that it is in motion. So when any object is moving, so it means that it is in motion. So what is required for this motion? You require a force which is acting on the object. When the force is acting on the object, it sets the object into motion. So you must have heard about distance. So what is this distance? So it means that how much path or how much far you have traveled. Suppose say there are two points A and B. So when you say the distance between A and B is 10 kilometers, so it means that they are separated by 10 kilometers. Or when you consider one more place C, when you say the distance between A and C is 20 kilometers. The distance between A and B is 10 kilometers. So it means that B is at midpoint of AC. So AB, this is 10. Similarly, BC, this is 10 kilometer. So obviously, the distance between AC will be 20 kilometers. So, this is distance. When you take the concept of displacement, so what is displacement? So be careful. When I say that I travel from A to C, then the distance that I travel that or I would have traveled will be 20 kilometers because the distance from A to C is 20. And when I say that from C I come back to A. So the total distance would be from here to here when I travel it will be 20. So again I come back to A. So the distance, the total distance will be 40 because it will be AC plus CA that is 20 plus 20. So the total distance, this is total distance. So the total distance will be 40 kilometers. When I say displacement, so what will be the displacement? So let's take the first situation. When I move from A to C, A to C, the distance will be 20 kilometers. Displacement. So displacement means it is the shortest distance from the initial point to the final point. So this is the initial point. The final point is C. So the distance between the initial point and the final point, it is the shortest distance. So the shortest distance can't be like from A to this, then to C. Suppose if I take it as D, the shortest distance can't be from A to D and D to C. It is from A to C because it's along the straight line. So the displacement will also be 20 kilometers. When I go from A to C, the distance is 20. The displacement is also 20 kilometers. Next, when I go from A to C and come back to A, so what will be the distance? I go from A to C, then again I come back to A, so it is C. 
so the total distance will be 40 20 plus 20 that is 40 from a to c again to a so the total distance will be 20 plus 20 it is 40 kilometers then what will be the displacement so as i told you the displacement is the distance between the initial point and the final point shortest distance so initial point is a the final point is also a so there is no distance between them so the displacement is zero next when i go from a to c and i come in the mid like i come to b b is at the midpoint of a and c so from a to b to sorry from a to c then to b so i represent by arrow i travel from a to c from a to c then i come back to b so it is from a to c 10 from c to b it is 5 so total 15 kilometers then what will be the displacement as i told it is a shorter distance from initial point to final point so initial point is a final point is b and the shortest distance is a straight line which is 10 kilometers sorry this is not 15 from a to c it is 20 and from c to b it is 10 so it is 30 kilometers so when i take the displacement it is the shortest distance from the initial point to final point so the initial point is a and the final point is b so the distance between these two is 10 kilometers so the displacement here is 10 so this is something which we need to be very careful so we need to first understand what is distance and even displacement so let me take one more example this is a square assume this that this is a square so this is not looking like a square but So assume this to be a square A, B, C, D. So A, B, C, D is a square. So let me take all the four points at a distance of 10 meters. So now when I start from A, I go to B, then C then D so from A I will go to B then C then finally I will come back I will come to D so in this case the distance is 10 plus 10 plus 10 so it is 30 meters but what will be the displacement It is the shortest distance from the initial point to final point. So this is the shortest distance. So the displacement is 10. Because from the initial point to the final point, the shortest distance is 10 meters. So the displacement is 10 meters. Suppose say I go from A to B, then C, then D. Finally I come back to A. A to B, B to C, C to D, D to A. So the total distance is 40 meters. But the displacement is, I will come back to the initial point. 
So after traveling here, I come back here only to the initial point. So the displacement is zero because the difference between the initial and the final is same. So it is I'm standing in the same point. So the displacement will be zero. Next, I, from A, I will go to B, then C, then D, then A. I will come back to the initial point. Again, I go to B. So here, so when I complete one rotation, the distance will be 40. What I will do, from A to I will again go to B. So it will be 40 plus 10. 50 meters. This is the distance, but the displacement, difference between the initial and final. So this displacement is 10 meters. So I'll give you one more, uh, maybe a problem. So try to do it by yourself. So I'll discuss in the next class. So the thing is. What will be the displacement when I travel from A to B, B to C? When I go from A to B and B to C, what will be the distance? What will be the displacement? So try to see this. So in the next class, I will solve for this. Similarly, You know what is a distance and what is displacement. So, when you come to speed, speed of any object. So they say, don't travel with greater speed. So speed thrills, but it kills. So there is a saying, speed thrills, but kills. Because when you travel with a greater speed, so there are high chances that you might get into accident because it will be very difficult for you to control the vehicle so it's better to travel at less lower speed or controllable speed so when you say speed what is speed so it is nothing but how much distance i will cover in a given time so when i take the same example there are two places A and B. Suppose say that they are at a distance of 200 kilometers. The distance from A to B is 200 kilometers. If I want to travel from A to B, if I take 4 hours, then what will be my speed? So if I want to calculate, how do I calculate it? So, the equation for speed is distance by time. So, in this case, speed is distance. The distance is 200 and the time is, I take 4 hours. So the time is 4 hours. So 200 by 4 is 50 kilometer per hour. So similarly, if I change this 200 and if I say 300 kilometers and if I say that I need 3 hours to travel, so or take say same so the distance is more so the distance is 300 kilometers let the time be the same it is 4 hours so speed will be distance 300 by 4 it is 75 kilometer per hour so when the distance remains the same Sorry, when the distance is increasing and the time remains the same, the speed has increased. You can calculate. Next, 
let the distance be the same when I decrease the time so here speed will be distance that is 300 time 3 so it is 100 km per hour so here the object is traveling with greater speed so it means that this means that every hour I am traveling 50 km or to travel 50 km I need 1 hour so here to travel 75 km I need 1 hour or every hour I will be traveling 75 km if I go in the same speed so similarly it can be meter per second also so if you take this 300 meter uh, or when you take a 100 meter track when you take a 100 meter track and if, when you say that you take 20 seconds to run this 100 meter this uh, this speed is very low because Usain Bolt the gold medalist in Olympics he has taken less than 10 around 9 something so this speed is very less so this means to travel 100 meter you are taking 20 seconds so what will be the speed the speed will be distance by 10 distance is 100 time is 20 so 100 by 20 is 5 meter per second because the distance is in meter and the time is in second so it is 5 meter per second so this means that every second I will be travelling 5 meters or to travel 5 meters I need 1 second so in the next class I will solve some more problems on distance and displacement with that we will see what is velocity what is acceleration and many other things so till then thank you have a great day